Okay. Camping yesterday. Snap the rail. Had a defect. It was a very defect. It was a 30% growth. He gets it out of here. I'll try to show that. So we're going to put another stick of rail up here. And uh, we're going to cut this out. And we're going to crop that off to fit in here where it's that Down to this joint here. And then we'll tie this in with the joint bars. And tomorrow we're going to come up and thermite weld that joint up there. We're going to replace this reel anyway. Got a for this head coming out here anyway. Uh, so, going to replace it. A lot of wear on there. Too glad to get this out. Glad to get this out of here. All right. We're here on curve 44. Mile post 11. Point. Three. Five. All right. Got some help today. He's having a hard time with that. I think we need a new blade. I don't know. It's not cutting real well. Yeah, when, he, when that jack beam picks, he, he had a pretty good lift on it. When that jack beam picks the, the rail up, then it goes at an angle and just snapped it right off. Uh, I wasn't tamping yesterday. We have a contract tamper in here. And uh, he's going. He's out in front of us yesterday. Or up. Uh, he's out in front of us today. Um, I've actually broken seven rails in my tamping career like this it happens uh actually on this curve on up here uh almost up to the milepost sign i broke a, ra a rail on this side one time Alrighty, this would be a good repair glad to get this out of here have it this is all new brick there that's your transverse fissure that's what Sperry cut it's a growth inside the rail this rail over here's got it uh, in there too they said it was 30 percent growth they will grow all right Pretty cool stuff. They're changing blades up there on their uh, saw. Okay. Commonly attributed to those growths inside the rail, or commonly attributed to hydrogen flakes in the uh, rolling of the rail. Oh, shatter cracks. And they will grow. They're like a little cancer inside the rail. They grow over time. And because of the damage out there, as you can see, uh, the dynamic forces of the train going over it cause it to grow. So there you have it. Okay, we got her pulled out. It's telling you the uh, railroad used to have a big problem with the back 
with rails breaking. So. Trying to get down here to get a better look at this. Sun's up my eyes. So that's called a transverse fissure. Uh, the railroads way back had a problem with that. And uh, they would have rail breaking parties. And I believe the uh, transverse fissure was discovered around 1917 in the 19 teens I know that and they uh, started come out with a process called controlled cooling to uh, help eliminate those uh, hydrogen flakes inside the rail as uh, all rail now is required to be controlled cooled I'll do another video sometime on control pulley. Uh, but let's see, let's find out which method this is used. All of ours is either control pulled or vacuum degas. I'll see if I can find a mill brand on here and see which one this one was. Alright. Yeah. See that CC there? I need this to get so cool. If it had the vacuum degassing, it would say VT, vacuum treated. Two plate help. Okay, we're coming along nicely here. I don't know what we'd do if it wasn't for Frontier Railroad. They, uh, they sure do a lot for us. We're uh, very, very thankful to have a really good contractor like them in here. You can always rely on them and they always do good work. Okay. That Brandon knows his stuff, doesn't he? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good man. Good safety, hands on top of the rail. Hands on top of the rail, railroad safety. Perfect. I'll tell you what, Brandon, you're a railroader. <laughs> okay, very good. Wonderful. Okay. Fantastic. You have a tape measure, Jake? Brandon's got one. I got one in my box if you want it. In that tall cabinet on that side, there's a tape measure in there, sir. Oh, you got one right there. Okay. Let me get this, uh, I'll get the power takeoff on. We'll get these tightened up. Okay. I gotta go. Okay, got the joint made. Got a little bit of a mismatch here on the head. This is real good on the gauge face. Just a little bit here. We're gonna have to grind this off here sometime before we get too many trains over it. Perfect. Perfect. Got two holes to drill up here. And we'll put the joint bars on up there. It's temporary. Okay. Well, we need to grind a little bit of that head off but 
Okay. Brandon, you gonna pick this little uh, plug up? Okay, I want to keep that. Okay, I want to keep that so I can cut that, crop that end off there, and keep that for my collection. So don't throw that one in the dumpster. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to 